Hey, and welcome to the behind the scenes of the Flip Your Lidware zip line commercial. <laughs> so, we're walking backwards down this hill. Behind me is actually one of my good friends, Tim, who I work with once a year for a full week doing games. He's catching a football that we're throwing from across the pond as he's zip lining across. We don't know if this is gonna work, so it's probably gonna take a few lots of catches. We lost the other hand, didn't we? <laughs> narrow lens, you can get a much narrower shot, much closer up. But the problem is this shot, I only got three feet in front of me. Ready, set, go. I would have to say one of my favorite things about this was actually getting two jet skis to go out on the lake and go underneath the zip line get some really cool shots of when people were actually coming down and dropping into the water. None of the other cameras could get this close. Yeah. Go ahead. One thing that was kind of nerve wracking was when we went down the zip line, we had to tell some of the kids when to drop because if you drop too late, you're probably in the shallow end or almost on land. And then if you drop too early, there's that 10 foot span where it's you gotta hold on because it's all ground underneath of you. So there's a lot of times when we're standing there and we're just going, drop, drop, and people are like, we can't hear you. So thankfully no one got hurt. Drop! You hate it when people do that? Yes. They scare me. They scare you, huh? Wait so long. Oh. I'm sure he was fine. He probably wasn't even like close, but from here it's scary. Yeah. So we shot this back in late August, August 25th, at my friend's backyard. We had gone out several times during the summer and had done a lot of test work on it, tried out a whole bunch of different shots. Some shots we kept, some shots we just had to get rid of. Um, one of the shots that I really liked was when we uh, attached the GoPro to the pulley to get a shot looking straight down, but it didn't work out because it took so long to get the pulley off because the GoPro had too much weight and we didn't have a chance to like counterbalance the pulley with the uh, GoPro and it was just bad. So we didn't end up using that. Um, my Hilo cam actually ended up breaking a few weeks before so we were unable to use that. couple things I want to tell you about it. One, we shot every single camera at 60p. The Hero 3 Plus Black Edition, which I love, um, I didn't have this out, it wasn't out at the time, and I didn't have a 3 Plus, or a 3, um, but I, I've liked what I've seen from it, but I actually will shoot a lot more in the 1440, 48 frames a second. I like that look a lot better than the 1080 look I get from it. But when I was using the Hero 2s, I was getting a nice shot on 1080-30, but if I wanted to do any slow motion or anything like that, I really wanted the 60p effect. That's why the whole video is actually only in 720. The Sony NEX cameras is the DSLRs I was shooting on. They'll shoot 1080 and 720, but they only shoot 60 and 720. So by shooting everything at 60 frames a second, all my cameras looked the exact same as far as frame rate. So you didn't get any like jumps or missed frames or anything and we converted everything over to 24p as well in the timeline. A couple of the fun stories that we had from there. One, we lost a uh, a rig. It actually went somehow flying off during one of the, the lines and actually just fell in the water and we couldn't find it. But the bar remained somehow on the actual uh, ra rail. So we had two bars and one pulley, which pulleys aren't kind of expensive. We bought a second one just before the shoot, just for this shoot. One of our friends came out from New York and he actually, on his first time going down, just did this giant back smacker, which you actually see at the beginning of the film. And when we interviewed him, he's like, yeah, it hurt. I'm here with Jordan and he just went down the zip line. Well, I was going down. And as I was going down, I was thinking, you know, maybe I'll, I'll try a back tuck, a, like a back flip off. And uh, so I'm going down and I decided to kick my legs out to try to get myself over and I guess I just didn't kick hard enough because I just I went up and I went right back down on my back just Ooh. splat right there on my back 
but he had so much fun he wanted to go do it again. So how far before? Drop. Drop. Tell him now. Tell him now. Good, yeah. good. Drop! Now the clothes in this shoot were sponsored by Flip Your Lid Wear, which is a clothing company that actually sponsors me as well as a, just a director. And he develops active wear clothing. Now I've done a couple other shoots for him since then, and I did a one commercial beforehand, which that's how we actually met. And he and I were talking about just different strategies on how to get people excited about the brand, but show that it's an active sportswear brand. We've got some more videos coming out. Check out their website. They have awesome, awesome clothes. FlipYourLidWear.com. You can also see it right here in the link below. And it's just a phenomenal company to work with. They have great clothes. Everywhere I go, people are just impressed with the design of the clothes and stuff. So check them out. See what they have to offer. Show them some love, buy some stuff, and we'll talk to you again soon.